hello and welcome to my video mr.net is here and this is video number three of the sodoku tutorial in the previous videos we create this grid here if i look into my scene and i click one of the field prefab clone here we see that this our prefabs and in this video we want to implement an action for each of these field prefab here. So for that we open our field prefab. And the field prefab gets a new component. So with add component I add a button component. I can let the button component so. I don't need to modify this component and then I open in my script the English game and we have the method create prefab create field prefabs and in this method we create each instance of our field prefab and also we have to add to the button a listener if somebody click this prefab an action has to be done so for that i use the instance here the get component method and i need the button component and the button component has a property on click and on this property I use the method add listener and inside this listener or this listener gets an action as an argument and this action will be called when somebody is click on the prefab so to add an action I use a lambda expression and we need a method which will be invoked so I implement here private void on click field prefab and this method has to be invoked when somebody is click on our instance to check it I implement here a log message debug.log clicked so I save this script I go back to unity open my scene and I start the game so now if the mouse is over a prefab you see that the color is a little bit changing this is that the button that means that this component has a button component so now when I click on this field prefab we see that I get the message clicked and that, and that works on each field prefab when we open the script and look at our method when I call this method in this body I do not know which component is clicked so for that we have to give this method some information and we know that our English field prefab object contains some information about our field prefab so I copy here this line and paste it here as an argument for my onClick prefab method. And now I can say click on prefab row English prefab object and we see that we don't can access our informations 
because these fields here are private but I can use right click quick action and refactorings and you can encapsulate this field then Visual Studio generates a property which is public for this private field here and I also use it for the column quick action and refactoring and encapsulate field now I have here the row and the column so I save this go into my English game script and now I can access inside my method here the row and also the column property now we see that this method here is red because we need an argument we need an English field prefab object so in this time I don't have English field property because I instantiate it later in the run at runtime so I copy this line here and paste it here to the end and now I can use here the English field prefab object instance as an argument so I save this script go back to unity and now I start the game in my console when I click the first prefab here we see clicked on prefab row 0 and column 0 if I click on the last prefab clicked on prefab row 8 and column 8 and this works for each prefab so the next thing what I want to do is if I click on a prefab I want to mark this prefab with a different color for the gamer and for that we go into our script into our English field prefab object class and inside this class I implement two methods the first is a public void called set hover mode And the other method is public void unset hover mode. And when this method is here invoked, set hover mode, I change the color of the instance of my prefab. So we have here our instance. So instance dot get component. I want the image component and we see we do not find this image in this class then I click show on potential fixes and we see using unity engine dot UI so this line here then we find the image and the image has a property called color and we set the new color of this property If I click on my prefab, we see that we have here the RGB values from 0 to 255 or from 0 to 1. We need here the 0 to 1 and now I can choose a color. If a user mark this prefab as Harvard, I take a light blue color so we see that the RGB values from 0 to 1 are 0 0.70 0 0.99 and 0 0.99 so I go back to the script and use these values here as an argument the first value was the I forgot the first value <laughs> 0 0.70 was the 0 0.70 float then the 0 0.99 float 
and also the 0 0.99 float as so that's the r value that's the g value and that's the b value now i copy this line and in my unset hover mode i change the color to white and white is each color to 100 percent so i save this now my prefab i let the color original as white and now in our english game script here inside this method when somebody is click the prefab i can say english field prefab object dot set hover mode so i save the script go back to unity open my english game scene and now i start the game if i click on my prefabs we see that the color is changing but i only want that one prefab at the same time can be hovered so for that i go here to my method and i need an object which save the current hovered instance and for that i use here a private english field prefab object i call it the underline current hovered field prefab and here inside my method I ask if the current hovered field prefab is not null because when I start the game this property here is null so if this value is not null I say current hovered field prefab dot unset hover mode so the color of the current field prefab is changed to white and after that I say that the current hover at field prefab is the given argument here which I clicked and I set the color of the current field prefab to blue So I save this script here, go back to Unity, and now I start the game. And we see only one field can be hovered. Well, that's it for this video. Hopefully you like it. Please subscribe my channel, give me a feedback, and we see us in the next video. Bye.